First thing we're going to do is remove the whistle. Carefully remove the whistle so that we can pack this in its first box. We're actually going to wrap it in a coffee filter so that we don't lose any of the pieces. We're going to do it carefully so that we don't bend anything. Like that. We still have this weight here that we have to put in there. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it in this little box here. I've got this, this little uh, Kindle box. It's the perfect size for the whistle. So first it's going to go in the center box. Okay, now we're going to close this box up inside this box. Now, now the whistle's inside this box and it's going to stay safe in there. We've also removed the stack, you'll notice. We've removed the stack here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we've got this nice box here. It's the perfect size. We're going to reinforce the box with some clear duct tape. It stays nice and secure. This is the one that the engine's going to be in. All the way through this bottom seal with clear duct tape. And I'm going to close these two flaps and we're going to do the same thing with those. We're going to secure those with some clear duct tape. There. Keep that secure. So it's popping up. Now there's going to be bubble wrap on top of this so there's no chance that it's going to pop up. But we want to make sure that this box stays secure. So we're just putting some extra precaution. This box will survive World War III in case North Korea decides to uh, shoot one at us. Your D-32 will survive. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of newspaper of insulation in the bottom part of the box. Which are right there. That's going to keep any kind of uh, looseness from happening. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put bubble wrap on top of that, like this. And that's going to be exactly, this is going to be the stuff that's actually touching the engine when it gets rested in here. We're going to take the engine and very carefully place it on top of the bubble wrap, making sure that all the bubble wrap... We can see that we've got the engine around all four sides as we get ready to secure it here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and secure all of these compo components here in the bubble wrap down during shipping. So we're going to very gently put bubble wrap inside the cracks of these uh, components here. Now I could use, I'm going to eventually use newspaper, but right now I'm using a lot of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap great situations like this. And then we're going to start using newspaper. The newspaper is going to put some pressure down on these components and keep them from moving around in each other. And I learned how to pack things from the official Mammoth forum online. Such a great guy from all over the world. I really love the hobby. And they've been uber, uber helpful with me as I've been selling this collection that my stepson's dad inherited. Now, I'm be really careful here around the flywheels. wheels. I'm not going to put too much pressure down here because it's kind of moving pieces over there. I'm just trying to feel it out. Kind of feel how much we need. Okay. Now what we've got here is we've got a a box that is perfectly cut out to fit this engine, and this is going to go inside another box. And you can see, when we shake it, it doesn't want to move because this is in really good shape. So we're going to check one more time. We're going to put a little more filler right here. We wrap the stack in, actually in the coffee filters, which I find are great. They're clean. They have never don't have any newsprint on them. And uh, they keep things from getting scratched. You see, we'll put some coffee filter there and tuck, tuck it in like that. So you see, we've got the stack and the coffee filter. We stick it in here, and now 
just going to put a little blue tape over that to keep it from moving around too much in there. There's the stack, and the stack is going to go right here, right there in the top, kind of away from the engine. And also, we've remembered our whistle and this little Kindle box, that's going to go in here as well. So we've got all of the components in here, and we're going to do that side, then that, then that, and then we're going to close it up with this. So now we've got this box nice and secure. Shake it up. You can see that it's not making any movement. It's ready to go. And we're using heavy duty duct tape, clear duct tape, to seal it up. I'm going to tape this area a couple of extra different ways. Like that. Keep that from moving around too much. So now this box is pretty secure on this, but I want to protect these these two little components that are protruding out. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our friend bubble wrap. We're going to wrap it with the bubbles on the inside just to make it easier on, our, on ourselves. In there. There we go. Now, this this could probably ship just the way it is. I mean, of course, we can't ship with this thing like this. But we're going to put this whole box in another box. Now, here's our other box. You can see this one's a little bit bigger. In fact, it's about an inch and a half more on each side, bigger than the other box. And you'll also notice that I've reinforced the bottom and the sides with more heavy duty clear duct tape. So now, once again, we're going to go to our old friend newspaper. We're going to start preparing this box for receipt of our inner box. Already put a layer of bubble wrap all the way around this bad boy. One over here. So now this is ready for receipt of the inner box. Here we go. That went exactly the way I wanted it to. The newspaper absorbed. Big chunk of the fill. And what we're doing is we got all this other stuff here going on. So now there's still a little room on the edges, but the bubble wrap did not fill in, and I'm going to use a little bit of newspaper for those. Let me check. Make sure that it closes okay. We want to make sure that this is going to close perfectly like that. And it's going to. Now, we have a little bit of room over here. We need some newspaper in. Now we've got the big bubble wrap. It's going to go on the top. The big stuff is going to be that last layer of protection right there. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. So I'm going to make this seal it's nice and resting up against itself. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we have the D32 ready for shipping. We're going to explore our shipping options here. And I'm going to, as I put the label on it to ship, it's going to go right here. We're going to keep the, this side up. We're going to have this side up all around it, fragile all around it. And we're going to ship it special so that it gets there safely. Okay, once again, so I'm going to add more tape to it as you can see that this is your D32 ready for you to receive.